What if I told you that God has instituted an incredible way for his people to create infinite amounts of wealth? Well, in today's training, we're gonna be going over exactly what I mean. Guys, Rick Pino here, and today we're gonna be going over God's way to build wealth. I'm gonna be breaking open some scriptures for you that maybe you haven't quite seen them this way in the past, but I'm telling you right now, the principles that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys and gals today have literally caused my wife and I to go from living below the poverty line to just in the past few years alone, we have made over eight figures. Yes, tens of millions of dollars, not to boast in anything that we have done. All of this has come from principles that we have found in the Bible. So buckle up because we're going to be going over all of it today. Guys, today's video starts with a story. Just a few years ago, I was in the nation of India and I was leading a missions team, team there. And, uh, you know, we were there for missions work, doing meetings and stuff. And one morning we took off from the hotel. It was pretty early. It was probably eight o'clock in the morning, seven, eight o'clock in the morning and if you've ever been to India you know even seven eight o'clock in the morning sometimes it can get very very hot we stop at the stoplight okay and there's a group of men at the stoplight and they are busting the concrete right they had the jackhammers brrr, you know they're they're there working hard man they're busting up the old concrete they're pouring new concrete like I said it's only seven or eight in the morning they're already pouring sweat they are working hard and for whatever reason I just took notice like whoa man it's it's pretty early and these guys are already out there getting it they're like working man didn't think much of it we went off and we finished the rest of the day did all of our meetings and did our outreaches all that stuff you know and then at the end of the day, we load back up into the buses and on the way back to the hotel, we just so happened to stop at the same exact stoplight and the same guys were in the same place doing the same work. Guys, it was eight o'clock or nine o'clock at night. I'm talking it was like 12 hours later and these guys were still out there brrr, breaking up the, the concrete, like same guys, uh, you know, pouring new concrete, hauling rocks, like just insanely hard work, right? And it, by the way, just cause it's eight or, eight or nine o'clock at night doesn't mean it got cooler. Like it's still blazing hot. These guys are out there working, you know, 10, 12, 13, 14 hours in the blazing heat, smashing concrete. And I wanna ask you a question. Is the answer for these guys to make more wealth, is the answer to go up to them and say, hey guys, listen, if you wanna make more wealth, I know you're probably not making too much, you know, here doing construction in India, but if you wanna make more wealth, guys, all you gotta do is just work a little bit harder. You know, it's a silly question because the answer is obvious. It's, it's not yes, the answer is no, that is not how you build wealth. Guys, I wanna encourage you, hard work alone will not make you wealthy. Think about this for a moment, okay? Are people who are making 10 times more money than you, are they working 10 times harder than you? Probably not, why? Because I just, I can't help but think, you know, every single one of us at our jobs, you know, we're putting in 40 hours a week at a J-O-B, at a job, right? Maybe you're really crushing it or you're putting in some overtime, you're working 50 hours a week. Maybe you're just like killing yourself, putting in 60, 70, 80, 100 hours a week, right? And let's say from all of this hard work, maybe you're making $100,000 a year. Okay, so someone who makes a million dollars a year, are they working, you know, if you're working 100 hours a week, are they working 1,000 hours a week? The, the answer is no. Like it's physically impossible for them to be working 10 times harder than you. So how in the world is it that people are out here making tons of money and not even working as hard as you. And honestly, guys, a lot of people who make way more money than what you're making right now, chances are not only are they not working har harder than you, 10 times harder than you, chances are they're probably working less than you and not as hard as you. 
Why is this? Because the principle that works for the guys smashing concrete in India, the principle that works for, you know, someone that makes 10 times more than you is not working 10 times harder, harder than you. The principle is this, guys. We have got to learn how to separate our time from our dollar. Come with me here to the board. I wanna paint a picture for you right quick. So here's what most people do, okay? Most people, this is a clock, by the way, okay? Most people are stuck in this infinite loop. And what is the infinite loop? The infinite loop is I'm trading my time for my dollar. I'm trading my time for my dollar. What's the problem with this scenario? I'm glad you asked because I'm gonna tell you the problem with this scenario is that the only way, if you're, if you're using your time to make money, the only way to make more money is to either work harder, which we've already just established, there's a certain limit where you physically cannot work any harder, or to work longer, which again, all of us only have a limited amount of time in the day. Like, it's gonna come to the point where you can't work 25 hours in a day. It just, it's impossible. So because your time is connected to your dollar, here's what's going on, okay? Because your earning potential, your dollar, is connected to something that is limited, your time, then guess what? Unfortunately, your earning potential is now limited. This is what 98% of people around the world do they go to school so that they can go to college, so that they can get a job, so that they can pay for their schooling. It's this infinite loop. It's that, that infinity sign right there. It's the infinite cycle of just, I am stuck in the hamster wheel of trying to figure this out. And the only way to make more is to either work harder or to work longer. Guys, I'm here to tell you right now, this is not the way to build wealth. It was Warren Buffett, the billionaire, who said it like this. If you don't learn how to make money while you sleep, then you will work until you die. Guys, I don't know about you, but I am not trying to work harder or longer all the way until my deathbed. Like, I don't know about you. I've got a beautiful wife. I've got precious kids. I want to spend as much time with them as possible. I want to go do all the things that God has put in my heart to do. I want to go serve people around the world in missions. I want to do things. I want to go on vacation. Like, I don't want to be spending all of my time working super hard and super long just to hopefully get in this infinite loop of trying to make money, guys. So what is the solution for this? Well, number one, we've got to elevate our mindsets that we cannot have our time connected to our dollar. Like, think about this. So many people, they limit themselves by having a high paying job. Like, I know that might ruffle some feathers here, but so many people, I believe that so many people's um, limitation is they finally make six figures a year. And you might be watching going, six figures a year? I would love to make six figures a year. That would be awesome, but you know what's more awesome? What if you can make six figures a month? What if you can make six figures a week? What if you can make six figures in a day? Guys, I'm here to tell you, not only is this possible, but my students have done this. I have done this. Not only have I made six figures in a day, I've made seven figures in a day. I've had students make $700,000 in one single day. Now, I know you might be sitting here listening going, this is crazy, like that's impossible. You know, he's gotta be lying. Guys, I'm here to tell you the honest truth. When you learn how to disconnect your time from your dollar and you begin to step into what I'm about to show you next in the training here that comes from the word of God, when you learn how to do this ancient wisdom secret that God put right in his word, everything begins to change, okay? So don't limit yourself by just trying to find a nice paying job. Think about it, guys. No job in the world is going to pay you $10,000 an hour, $50,000 an hour. Like, it gets really, really, really hard to generate real wealth, and not just wealth for you, but generational wealth. It gets very hard to create generational wealth whenever you are 
connected, whenever you are connected in your earning potential to something as limited as time. Guys, I wanna help you today, okay? Let's come back to the, here to the board. I wanna uh, break down a couple more concepts for you. So here's how it works, okay? Here's what most people do. Most people who are trading their time for their dollar, actually, I'll just bring it back to the other page here. Here's what most people do, okay? When you are stuck in the infinite loop of trading my time for my dollar, right? Here's what happens. People work, they work, they work, they work, they work, they work. And then finally, either every Friday or every two weeks or every month, however it works, finally, after all this work, they finally get paid once. Now, can I ask you a question? Like, how many of you guys and gals, you got bills, like not just once every two weeks, you got bills every day, man, right? Like you gotta go to the grocery store, you gotta put gas, right? You gotta pay the cell phone bill, you gotta pay your rent or your mortgage, you gotta pay insurance, right? Like you have all of these bills and it is so mind blowing to me that people, they get paid on this cycle of work, 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 then get paid. They're, they're on this cycle and I'm telling you guys right now, if you look in your bank account, it's like bill, 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 bill. And then once every Friday or every two weeks or every month, however your pay cycle is, it's pay, you know, it's income, expense, 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 income. What if you could flip this on its head? And when you look at your bank account, what if you can see income, 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 expense, income, 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 expense, income, income, expense, income, income, income. Guys, that is exactly what you can do when you do the word. So what we want to do is we want to go from this model of work, 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 get paid once in a while to this model that I'm about to teach you guys where you can work one time and then get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid. Now you might be sitting here going, man, this sounds crazy. Guys, I want to bring you value. In fact, if you're getting value right now, smash the like button, okay? Like and subscribe to the channel. I'm about to break this open for you guys out of the Bible. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter eight, verse 18. Watch this. So yes, it is possible to, one more time, just for a reminder, it is possible to go from this, work, 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 get paid, to this, work, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid. How is it possible? It's possible because of one of the principles here in God's word. Deuteronomy 8.18 says it like this. Remember the Lord. It is he who gives you the power to create wealth. And then the next part says, so that he may establish his covenant with you. Now, here's what I want to submit to you before I break this verse down, okay? Here's what I want to submit to you. God can't just be right about heaven and wrong about everything else. What does that mean? Most of God's people, I believe that the reason why most of God's people struggle financially is because they have conflicting internal beliefs around the subject of money, of wealth, of prosperity, of abundance, right? They're like, oh man, you know, this is what most believers do, right? They don't understand what I'm about to break down for you here in Deuteronomy 8.18. Most believers are like, oh man, we, we don't wanna be so greedy by having too much money. You know, like, oh man, gosh, you know, money's wicked. And if you have a lot of money, you're greedy and money's evil, like beware, right? But 
that's coming out of one side of their mouth. Out of the other side of their mouth, it's also like, would you please sow a seed? Like we're trying to build the, the youth building. We, we wanna send all these missionaries to the missions field. Like, would you please sow? Like, you know, it's like, which one do you want me to do? Do you want me to go generate wealth so that I can give? Or do you just want me to somehow give be, and stay broke and, and in a scarcity mindset? Like these things don't work together, right? So we've got to begin to elevate our belief around what the Bible says, what God has said in his word about wealth, about abundance, about prosperity, about having an abundance mindset, okay? I believe that the secret to separating your time from your dollar and staying in that infinite loop of like the, the hamster wheel, like, man, I never can get ahead. The secret is found right here in this verse. Come with me back to the board. Watch this. So first thing I want to make mention here, and I'm just going to put a pin in this and I'm going to come back to this, but watch, watch that. Remember the Lord, okay? But watch this. Here's what most believers do. Most believers read this verse. Remember the Lord, for it is he who gives you the power to create wealth, right? And so most believers read this and they go, oh my goodness, God said he's going to give me wealth. And guys, I'm here to tell you, this is not what the verse says, right? In fact, nowhere in this verse is God saying that he is going to give you wealth, what is this verse actually saying? It's saying that God is going to give you, what's he going to give you? The power to create wealth. Okay? So don't for a minute hear this and be like, oh man, God's going to give me wealth. Like, and this is what most believers do, guys. Most believers, whenever you have a financial need, you're like, oh God, you know, please supply my needs and give me wealth. Amen. And most believers have this mindset that all of a sudden it's just going to poof into your bank account. Like it was a miracle. Thank you, God, you gave me wealth. But guys, I'm here to tell you, this is not how God has established his kingdom. In fact, it's my conviction that it was not God's will for his people to live off of miracles alone. What does that mean? Do you remember the story of the Israelites whenever they were in the desert, right? It wasn't God's will for them to live off of manna every single day. No, it was God's will for them to believe him at his word and to go take the promised land. But most believers today, just like the Israelites of old, they are comfortable by just living in the wilderness going, I just need enough to get by, God. I just, no, we don't want to be greedy. We don't want to go for too much. You know, one of the most selfish mindsets that a person can have is I don't want too much money, right? Because if I do, then I'll be greedy. But let me ask you a question. When you don't have any money, all you can do is pray for somebody, right? But you know what's even better than just praying for somebody? And by the way, praying for someone, that's powerful. But what if you were to have wealth and prosperity and abundance and overflow, not only would you just be able to pray for someone, you would also be able to give to them and to help solve their needs. Guys, when you have this mindset that, oh, I just, we just, we don't want to be greedy, God. We just want enough to get by. That's a selfish mindset because when you have just enough to get by, you can't take care of anybody else. I want to submit to you guys, listen, broke people don't build hospitals, right? Scarcity mindset people, they don't build schools. People who just have enough, right? They're not taking care of people, man. They're just worried about themselves. You've got to get a bigger vision for what God has for your future and your finances. And it's connected right here to Deuteronomy 8.18. Let's dive back in. Watch this. So no, God isn't saying that he's going to just straight up give you wealth. But what he is saying is that he wants to give you the power to create wealth. Watch this. Do you remember the analogy I gave you where most people, they have their time connected to their dollar? You guys remember that? And the infinite loop of just being stuck right here, right? Well, here's God's way. This is God's secret to building wealth. God says, I don't want you to connect your time to your dollar. I want you to connect 
What is this? I want you to connect your creativity to your dollar, your creativity. I need at least five people in the comments right now. Drop these words, creativity. The very first thing that God told us about himself out of all the things that God is, he's a father, he's a provider, right? He's our healer, he's all these amazing things. But the very first thing that God told us about himself was that he was a creator. In the beginning, God created, right? And then what was the first thing he told us about ourselves? He said, you are created in my image. Guys, God the creator created us so that we can be creative. How are you gonna break out of the hamster wheel of I don't know how to get ahead, I'll never have enough money, this is so hard, I'm already working extremely hard, I'm stressed, and we just feel like we can't ever get ahead. How are you gonna break out of that hamster wheel? You've got to step in to your God likeness. You got to step into Deuteronomy 8.18 and understand that God wants to give you the power to create, the power to create, the power to create. Someone drop that in the comments, the power to create wealth. When you begin to connect your creativity to your dollar, something incredible happens. Come back with me to the board. Watch this. So in this model, the infinite loop of just staying stuck in the hamster wheel of trading your time for your dollar, okay, you can't break out of it, right? Because you gotta give time and you don't have that much time left, but you need more money to live, so you gotta give time and then on and on and on. But watch this. When you have your creativity connected to your dollar, okay, this is how we do the work one time and then after that, we can get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid. What do you mean, Rick? What does that mean? How do you just work one time and then just get paid over and over and over again? Guys, you've got to tap into your creativity, into your God likeness, right? What if you were to write a book, right, on the thing that you're passionate about? Maybe it's an ebook. Maybe you could create a course. Maybe you could do an online training on something that comes easy to you and may be harder to others, right? So what does that mean? If you create a course, now obviously you'll have to work, you have to put that course together, but you do the work one time and then after you release the course out there to the market, guess what happens? Someone buys that thing every single day. And a lot of times, not just one person, but maybe three people, maybe five people, maybe 10 people, maybe 100 people every single day. Buy your creativity, the value that you brought out of your creativity. And guys, that is how you can begin to separate your time from your dollar, because watch this. Like I said earlier, when your time is connected to your dollar, okay, now your earning potential is connected to something limited like time. But when you connect your creativity to your dollar, creativity is infinite, right? There's no cap on creativity. So when you connect your earning potential to something infinite like creativity, then guess what else happens? Your earning potential becomes unlimited. What if you created an ebook? What if you created a course? That's something that I teach my students how to do is how to put together a digital product right? What if you had two eBooks? What if you had five courses? Then now it wouldn't just be one of those products working for you. It would be multiple products working for you. Hey, I really hope that you're enjoying the video. I want to invite you guys. I have recently created a free training teaching people how to make money online. My students are literally making anywhere from five to $10,000 a month. And some of them even make hundreds of thousands of dollars, not in a year, but in a single day. If you want more information on how you can get started, all you need is a phone and a laptop. You can go to digitalproductacademy.org or you can click the link below in the description. Guys, after you watch the free training, if it sounds like it might be something cool for you to check out, you can book a free call with one of my client success coaches and they'll be able to help you more. Now, back to the video. This scripture, Deuteronomy 8.18. Now watch this, I wanna break this down for you a little bit more, okay? When you begin to connect yourself to the truth and the reality in this scripture, something powerful 
begins to happen. Okay? So remember the Lord is he who gives you the power to create. And what are we doing with that creativity? We are specifically using it to create wealth. Guys, here's what happens when we do this. When we tap into our God likeness and we begin to create wealth out of our creativity, guess what happens? God uses that to establish his covenant with you, okay? But it gets better, guys. I wanna actually take a peek here into this word, power, okay? Remember the Lord, for it is he who gives you the power to create wealth. This word power here, can I just take a few, can I take a few minutes and just break this down for you? I, I really know that you guys and gals are gonna get crazy value out of this next part, okay? Uh, if you haven't yet, go ahead and like and subscribe. Check this out, okay? This, this word power here, okay? This is the Hebrew word koah, okay? When I discovered this, I was doing a word study through Deuteronomy 8.18. When I discovered what I'm about to share with you, my mind was literally just blown out of excitement. Number one, because... The word koa, uh, my, one of my son's names is koa. So I was like, hey, that's like my son's name, koa. And my son's name is very similar to this Hebrew word. The meaning of the word koa here in the Hebrew, it means all the things that you would think it means initially. Like, you know, remember the Lord is he who gives you the power to create wealth, right? So power to create. So does it mean ability? Yes. Does it mean... Um, uh, capacity, yes. Remember the Lord, it's he who gives you the capacity to create wealth, the ability to create wealth, yes. Does it mean strength, uh, you know, and, and like big explosive strength? Yes, it means all those things. But watch this. There is one other meaning at the very end in Strong's, in the Strong's Concordance. The last listed meaning of this word really blew me away. Watch this. Not only does this word koa or power mean all the things that you think it means, but you know what else it means? It also means the word chameleon. What? Yes, a chameleon. Let's see if I could draw one here. Okay, there's his tail. Let's see if I can get his little feet here. Okay, here's another foot. Oh man, I'm not the best drawer. I don't even know what a lizard that looks kind of like a rat, but let's, <laughs> I don't know how to draw a lizard, but you guys see what I'm talking about here, okay? So yes, like the lizard, the chameleon lizard, okay? And I started reading this. I said, wait a second, wait a second. Remember the Lord because it is he who makes you like the chameleon so that you can get wealth. That's one of the ways that this verse reads. And I said, makes you like the chameleon so you can get wealth. And you know what the Holy Spirit spoke to me immediately. He said, I want my people to understand when you disconnect your time from your dollar and you learn how to connect your creativity to your dollar, not only do you get out of the infinite loop of I can't get out of this, now you can have an infinite amount of money because your creativity is limitless. And watch this, guys. Now you can go from work to get paid, 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 paid. But guys, just like the chameleon blends into this economy and that, sorry, this, this tree and that tree, I believe that God's people, when you tap into this truth, you can blend into this economy, that economy. It doesn't matter if there's a recession. It doesn't matter if there's a pandemic. It doesn't matter what's going on because now the economy is not happening to us. We as God's people who are tapped in to the revelation of Deuteronomy 8.18, we now create our own economy. Just like a chameleon can blend in here and there, we will be able to blend into any economic situation that comes our way. Guys, when you become an entrepreneur, listen, nothing wrong with having a job, but when you become an entrepreneur, you tap in to this Deuteronomy 8.18 reality where God begins to release the power to create wealth. 
Guys, what happens? You become like that chameleon, right? You can blend in here, blend in there. And guys, I'm telling you this right now. You literally go from like, oh man, I, I make whatever, 20 bucks an hour, 25 bucks an hour. If only I could make 26 bucks an hour. You go from that to going, man, instead of making six figures a year, I'm gonna start making six figures a month. And after I make six figures a month, I'm gonna make six figures in a week. And after I make six figures in a week, I am gonna go to make six figures in a day because now I'm earning not with my time, not with the sweat of my brow. I'm earning through the creativity that God gave me, right? Through the, through the creative nature that lives on the inside of each and every one of us, guys. You might be sitting here watching the training today going, well, I don't even know what in the world I would do. I don't know what I would teach. I don't know what I would sell. Guys, I need you to understand. Come in close to me. Come in close. Now listen. <laughs> I need you to realize something today. You are more special than you can absolutely imagine. You are more special than you realize, okay? You might be sitting here and uh, saying, well, man, I just, whatever, I've been a car salesman for 20 years. I'm, that's not very special. Or, man, I'm a stay-at-home mom. Or I'm a stay-at-home dad. Like, that's not very special. Or, I mean, I'm a barista. Like, that's not very special. Guys, I'm telling you right now, no matter what you do, there are people who wish they knew what you know. I was explaining this to my mother-in-law the other day. It was, it was so precious. I love her so much. Shout out mom, uh, mom-in-law, if you're watching this. But I was explaining this to her and she was like, that is so cool that you're helping people do this. And she's like, huh, I wonder what I would do because you know, I've, I've just been a Nana. And I said, just a Nana? First of all, you had five of your own kids and then you have like a bajillion grandkids. Literally, she has like, probably 20 or 30 grandkids, maybe more, right? I'm like, you are the best Nana. You're always prepared. Like you have all these hacks. You've literally taught your kids how to raise their kids. There are so many people who wished like new moms or new families who wish they could be like, what should I do about this? You've already been there, done that a hundred times. Not just for her, but the same thing goes for you. There are people who wish they knew how to be a barista. There are people who wish they knew how to homeschool their kids. There are people who wish they knew how to flip sneakers on the internet. There are people who wish they knew the knowledge that you have. You're like, that's not very special to me, but guys, I'm telling you, just because it doesn't feel special to you doesn't mean that it's not special to everyone else. And guys, I'm telling you right now, I teach my students every single day how to take that thing that they already do, the knowledge they already have, the expertise, the passion they already have, turn it in through their creativity, turn it into a digital product, put it out there one time, and then it begins to pay them over and over and over and over again, okay? So let me come back to Deuteronomy 8.18. So now that you're like, okay, God's gonna help me become like this chameleon, right? So that I can blend in no matter what's going on in the economy, I'm going to be able to thrive and not just survive. Guys, when you do this, remember earlier I said, watch this part first. Remember the Lord? Guys, can I break it down for you like this? Like when I begin to learn this, something interesting happened. When the wisdom of God began to be released over this idea, over this truth, like, wow, we can make wealth, we can create wealth out of our creativity, here's what happens. The reason why so many people, they feel like things are expensive is because if you're trading your time for your dollar and you're working at your job, right, then guess what? Things are expensive because let's say you make 20 bucks an hour working at your job like you go out to dinner, that salad doesn't just cost $10, that salad cost you 30 minutes of your life. Of course it's expensive, right? If you make 20 bucks an hour and you, you wanna go buy that uh, $100 purse, the purse doesn't just cost $100, the purse costs you five hours of your life. Of course that's expensive, right? You've gotta break out of that system, break into this, and so when I begin to tap into this, I begin to see, wow, this is incredible. And guys, something amazing begin to happen. When you begin to start generating wealth and paying for things, not, please listen to me, not paying for things out of your time, paying for things out of your creativity, guess what happens? Making money God's way, it's really, really easy. 
I've seen this in my own life. I've seen this in my students' lives. I've seen people literally go from like, this is so expensive to like 10,000 bucks, 20,000 bucks, 50,000, 100,000, whatever. I'm just gonna come up with a new offer. I'll come up with a new creative way to pay for it, right? So when you begin to tap into this, why do we need to remember the Lord? Because God has set this up to where if you do this, if you begin to generate wealth out of your creativity, guess what happens? Making money gets easy. And the easier making money gets, the harder it is to watch this. Remember the Lord. I love God. I love that he anchored this incredible reality. He anchored all of this. Guys, here's the secret to begin to generate and build wealth. But he anchored everything in this statement. Remember the Lord. Guys, God wants us to be blessed. He wants us to prosper. He wants us, uh, he wants us to live in abundance. He wants his people to be the head and not the tail. And this is one of the primary ways that we can do this, okay? Let me finish this training with leaving you one more thought out of the book of Ephesians. Watch this. Book of Ephesians, chapter five, verses 15 and 16. This is Paul the Apostle talking, and he says it like this. He says, guys, I want you to walk wise and not as fools, okay? And then he goes on to say, oops, I think I spelled that wrong, but you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> Redeeming the time. Why? You guys know this one. Because the days are evil. Now, first and foremost here, we see that Paul the Apostle is encouraging us. Guys, I want you to walk wise, right? I need at least 10 people in the comments to drop those two words, walk wise. He says, guys, I want you to walk wise, not as fools, but I want you to walk wise so what does it mean to walk wise? I'm glad you asked. Let me show you what it says here, okay? Now, I don't know if you're like me. I grew up, you know, with a faith background. I grew up going to Sunday school, all that stuff. I've heard this verse taught on many, many, many times. And every time I hear it taught on, it's like, oh, you better redeem the time, you know, like make sure you're living right because the days are evil. But guys, that's not what this verse is saying, okay? The word redeem here, let me break this down for you here. The word redeem, my misspelled redeem, this word redeem here literally means, how do you spell redeem? There it is, I think so. It literally means to redeem. What does redeem mean? To buy back. So Paul is saying, if you want to walk wise, you need to learn how to buy back your time. <laughs> I, was, I was sharing this the other day and somebody said, well, what about this part where it says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. You know, a lot of people here, they see that word evil and they think of like, you know, devils or something like that. Like, oh, it's evil. But guys, literally what this verse is saying here is if you want to be wise, then you need to buy back or redeem your time because life can get kind of hard sometimes. What does that mean? How many of you guys and gals watching, maybe you have little kids, maybe you feel like you're stuck in your job, maybe your loved ones um, are, you know, God forbid, maybe they're sick or something right now, right? Don't you wish you could spend more time with those people? Don't you wish you could do more for those people? Well, you can't if you have to always be trading your time for dollars. Or worse yet, when you're not trading your time for your dollars, you're also doing things like whatever, mowing your own lawn or trying to change your own oil just to save a couple of bucks, right? You're literally seeing money as more valuable than time. But I wanna leave you with this thought, okay? If somebody were to walk up to you and say, hey, I would love to give you a million dollars for free. How many of you guys and gals would be like, okay, sweet. Like most everyone would say yes to that. But what if the offer came with this contingency? Many of you still believe 
that your money is more valuable than time. But watch this, and I'm gonna end with this thought, check this out. What if somebody came up to you, this is why money is not more valuable than time, okay? What if someone came up to you and said, hey, I would love to give you a million dollars. How many of you guys would like that, right? Most people would be like, okay, cool. But what if it came with this contingency? The only contingency is, the one catch is that you can't wake up tomorrow. How many of you guys want that million dollars now? No one is saying yes to that, why? Because subconsciously you understand the fact that your time is more valuable than money. What about this situation? Let's say, God forbid, a, a loved one gets sick, right? And the doctor comes in and says, listen, they're terminal, they're sick, but there is a cure and it only costs a million dollars and 100% of people who take this cure, they're 100% healed. Would you like to do this? If you had that million dollars, you wouldn't even think twice about it. You'd say, absolutely, let's get them healed right now. Why? Because your time or your life is infinitely more valuable than money. So why in the world are you trading your time for your dollar? Guys, I wanna encourage you, let's walk wise and learn how to buy back our time with being creative the way that God has created us to be, right? So that we can not just work, 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 and get paid. I wanna see you guys and gals tap into Deuteronomy 8.18. Remember the Lord, it's he who gives you the power to create wealth so that he can establish his covenant with you. So that way, guys, you can learn out of your creativity how to work, then get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. We'll see you in the next video.